Hi everyone, so today's going to be a different type of video. If you're wondering why I am dressed like this, today is actually the two-year anniversary of my best, one of my best friends, Christy, her death. She passed away on May 16th, 2018 from metastatic breast cancer. And if you guys have been following me for throughout these past two years, you have, you will know that that was truthfully one of the biggest losses, one of the hardest things I've personally ever been through. She was such an important and special person in my life. So today I wanted to actually sit down and just share some memories of her and keep her memory alive because that is really truthfully for me, that is definitely the way how I deal with grief when it comes to losing a friend or just anything in general. I like to talk about the people that I have lost and just to honestly keep her memory alive. It really makes me, it just keeps me going. So um, I'm just going to share some memories of how we met, um, how I felt the day that I found out that she passed away and so on. So if you guys are interested, please just continue to watch. And the reason why I am dressed like this is purple was Chrissy's favorite color. I'm going to include a video and a couple, it's going to include um, some photos of her and you guys will see. She always loved the color purple. She looked beautiful. She used to color her hair purple. She used to wear purple lipstick. So that is the reason why I am dressed like this right now. And butterflies, they symbolize so much. After she passed away, I'm going to get into that, to that a little bit later. But that is why I am wearing these glasses because I'm telling you, it's just crazy how much... How many butterflies that I, that would come around me after she passed away. But anyway, so I want to get into how we met. So if you guys are not familiar with Curly, she is my all-time favorite musical artist. I've been supporting her since 2008. She's truthfully the reason why I was able to meet Christy in the first place. Like, we loved her. We, we all, we, we bonded on her music. And funny enough, Curly, she performed in, back here in Chicago at a nightclub here um, back in April of 2013, and that is the very first time that I ever met Christy in person. We did not know each other online either that day. We just, we met each other, we hung out that night, we watched a concert, and then Curly actually wound up coming back to Chicago a few months later at the North Tolson Market Days, and if you guys are not familiar with that, that is a large music festival that happens every summer here in the city. It draws like over over 150,000 people per day. It's a two-day weekend. So Curly was coming back to perform, and I had no idea that my friend Christy, because she lives in, um, Christy was, she lives in Michigan, and I'm here in Chicago, and so we really didn't have the opportunity to really see each other that often, which is really unfortunate, but I did not even know that Christy was going to be in town for when Curly was going to perform, so I'll never forget, I was waiting, it was about a few minutes before Curly was about to come on, like, say, no, not a few minutes, but maybe like about a half hour before, and um, I was just standing there, and then all of a sudden I felt someone go like this to me, and I had no idea who it possibly could have been, so I turned around, and it was Christy. She came to surprise me. She hugged me. We talked for a few minutes, and unfortunately, she was not able to stay to watch Curly perform that day, which is really unfortunate, and I wish she was able to, but it, that just shows the type of a person that she was. She was so caring, so loving. She purposely came to find me in the crowd, and that speaks a lot about a person. You know, she was honestly the best, the sweetest person in the entire world, so... That was back in 2013, and unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to ever see Christy again in person, but I will, st I still treasure that day. Like That is the reason why I love Curly so much. She is the reason why I was able to meet Christy, and we developed such a strong friendship online. Even though we didn't have the opportunity to see each other in person, it didn't matter because our bond online, like, we, I just... She was such a special part of my life. We talked to each other pretty much every single day on Messenger. And then gradually, like I'd say, 2014 is when real, things really started to take a turn for the worst for her health-wise. She went through so much. Like, it's been so many things that she personally struggled with that I cannot even remember half of the things. But she pretty much lived in the hospital. And it was so sad, but we would always always keep in contact. I would always message her through Messenger, ask how she was doing. She was in a, in a um, kind of like a rehabilitation center for a while because she was so sick she couldn't be home. She pretty much lived in hospitals, and it was so sad. And all the crap that she went through in those last final years of her life it was just so heartbreaking, and she did not deserve that. She was such a beautiful person, and if anyone out there, if any of you guys have personally met her, and you know Christy, um, or just, uh, you know, if you had, or say if you just have even had a conversation with her online, you will know the type of a genuine, just complete sweetheart that she was. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't have opportunity to see her online, but we would always communicate, and she was getting, she was so sick, we would, um, we would talk about Curly's music and send each other links, and her, honestly, her music truly kept her going, and truly still keeps me going to this day, so I just really treasure those moments of 
sharing our favorite songs together, and we would always talk about that online to each other. So, but anyway, May 16th, 2018, I will never forget it. I was sitting, I was at a friend's house, and I happened to scroll through my Facebook, and I I think I pretty much was just in a state of shock when I found out that she passed. It was truthfully the worst feeling that I felt like my heart was pretty much ripped out of my chest because I was never, I was not expecting her to pass away at such a young age. She was only, I think she was only 43 years old, which is so, so heartbreaking. She had so much more life to live. And it just makes me sad that I did not have the opportunity to even, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to see her one last time, but I know her presence is with me because after she passed away, um, at Market Days, the last place where I saw Christy in person, it was a couple months later in August. She passed away in May. In August, I was seeing a different artist perform in the parking lot. And this artist was performing in the same parking lot where Curly was performing in the last person where I saw Christy back in 2013. So I'll never forget it. As this artist, one of my other favorite artists, is performing, I had butterflies that were surrounding me. I mean, if you live in Chicago and this performance took place in a parking lot, so where... You, it just does. It doesn't happen. Every all these years that I have been attending that festival, I have never, I have not seen one butterfly. So right after she passed away, to see those butterflies that night, and no matter where I would go, I had butterflies following me. I'll never forget it. Like a couple weeks after she passed away, they were following me everywhere, and that is definitely a sign from her. I know that she's with me. She was with me through all the time I would see a butterfly. I know that she sent those. So. That is the reason why I hold butterflies very, very special to my heart because I know it was her. And yeah, it was just um, just such an incredible feeling to know that her spirit is still living on and it was still with me every single day. And I know she's still with me right now and I'm that's why I am making this video to keep her memory alive and just to share what a truly, truly beautiful person that she was to me and to so many others out there. And to her husband, Mike, if you happen to watch this, I really am so beyond sorry for your loss. I know... Um, I didn't have just just the encounters that I have that I shared with Chrissy. They were so special to me, and I just wanted to send you all my love. I couldn't imagine how hard losing her must have been for you. It's just so so heartbreaking. So now I'm going to get into the little collage that I put together, and the song that I'm going to be playing that I included in this video. Let me say, it is called Stardust, and it is actually by Curly. And this is such a beautiful song, and I just had to include this because without Curly, we never would have met in the first place. So. Yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed my little tribute to my beautiful friend Christy. Cannot believe it's been two years. But yeah, just hope you guys enjoyed. So now let's get on to the video. Fear not, my love. You will be safe. It's all just the Test of faith. You can feel the air get thinner, merging with the light. When everything is changing, just remember. 